EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East. Our Jets taking on the New England Patriots. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. New England's offense set to go. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 42-yard line, here's second and five. Back to throw here. Douglas with a grab over the middle before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that third down throws. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Taken in at the 11. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing middle and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. They'll come up now, third and nine. Now Rodgers. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where a play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. 
On first and ten, it's Hall. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 23, here's the second and five. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Back to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 39. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. They go with the empty set there. Five receivers in the formation. Normally, you want to have a running back in to block, but in this case, he's lined up to the right, and he ends up getting the football. A lot of confusion caused defensively, and it turns into a big play. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Nowadays, this has become routine, hasn't it? That was a heck of a route there by the tight end. A great double move for a big-time catch downfield. They'll look to throw again. Throw left 
side complete. That's Douglas. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Gain of nine on first down. From the five now, second and a yard. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Ramondre Stevenson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are an extra point away from evening this one up. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Even at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Rodgers now on first down. He'll find Williams on the slant. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here will be caught by Wilson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Straight ahead is home. Nifty move. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Now a second and ten. Now Rodgers. Oh, he'll work that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to the ground with Hall. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. 18 yards for Brees Hall. And the Jets have taken the lead.
Well, solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. New England trotting into place on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on I it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Here's third and ten. They'll set up to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And they'll get him down two yards shy after a pickup of eight. Fourth and two. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken around the 12. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. And now out come the Jets. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. It'll be a gain of five at its second down.
On second down, a run with Hall. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Here's third and three. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. In most pass defenses, the guy playing safety has the ability to roam free and try and go to the football. But when you're a man, you've got to cover just like a guy playing out on the corner. Lock up on the receiver and go to the football. That's exactly what he did, batting that one away. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. He'll drop to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Oh my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he fields it cleanly. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And the Jets will take over. And New York set to take the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Rodgers now to throw. Throwing for the out route, he finds Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On the draw, it's Hall. 61 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and four. To throw is Rodgers. And he completes it to Wilson. 
He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. On play action, it's Rodgers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Chalked that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Rodgers going to throw. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. A big play there for New England. 42 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ramondre Stevenson, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone. Patriot 
touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Pats have cut it back within a score. So two touchdowns for him on the ground in this first half, and that one, a thing of beauty. And just like his last touchdown run, we saw him be patient. How about his vision where he's able to identify where the opening was? And then how about the escort right down the field, all the way to the end zone from his blockers? So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And now the rookie's free. Still going past the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. That kick return TD is 98 yards in length. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. New England trying to get a place on offense. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On the counter, it's Stevenson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Bryce Behringer on now to punt.
And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wilson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Rodgers throw going into the hands of Williams. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wilson. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. On play action, now Rodgers. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. Second down and a yard. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he'll get this down only to the 18. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring a fourth down here. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll go for it. It's a band of candle. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. A Garrett Wilson, the one he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. Now Rodgers. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I'll give him credit there. Nice job on the drag route. Bring the receiver across the field, hoping he can catch it in stride and turn it up. He was able to do just that, although he's just a little bit short of the first down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Now it's Rodgers. That is caught by Williams. Touchdown. 
Deshaun Jets. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Zerline good with a PAT, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Short pass caught by Henry. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They gotta change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Try to lay one up deep. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and the Jets are going to have it here just past the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Here's Rodgers. Going to look deep for Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. It's taken to the 26. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Final 12 seconds of the half now, as they've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw right side taken in by Gibson. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And he won't quite make it to the 25. 
Now the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Caught. It's Wilson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The ball on the 32. It's second and two. Hall ought to give up the middle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Handoff, running left, here's Hall. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side, but how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt, control that edge, get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage, you got a chance to rumble. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Ball again. But he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Rodgers now on third and goal. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. A touchdown on a kick return, and now one through the air. And the Jets take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Let's go. 
And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. And that leaves them with third and long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. That's pulled in at the 32. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And New York set to take the field. Yeah. <laughs> Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And some room to work. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. On the handoff, Abanacanda. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Throwing now is Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Throwing is Rodgers. It's Williams on the catch. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. To throw, it's Rodgers finding, and oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Patriots, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A give running right is Hall. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big day running the football. You take an occasional loss or an occasional bad play along the way, but all in all, they have to like what they've done. 122 yards rushing for him now to this point. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll run with Hall. And this time he is in. Yes. Brees Hall. 
His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets have opened the lead up to 30. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action you. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Now second and five. They'll set up to throw. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. Running left is Stevenson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He completes it to Wilson. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 
Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Rodgers throw taken in by Ruckert. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. If anyone ever has any doubt that tight ends are primary targets nowadays, just watch this play. He's back in the pocket, finds his guy, and they get a nice gain out of it. Yeah, simple little completion out into the flat. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Hall again. A nice little juke. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. On first and 10, it's Hall. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 151 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. Big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Straight ahead is Hall. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 22. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. They gave him the option there on third and short. Runner pass, you choose. And he decided to fling it out to the perimeter, and that was the right call as they pick up the first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A handoff for Hall. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> 
Now Rodgers. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. New England's offense set to go. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Short pass caught by Henry, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now. And all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 11 more on that one and another first down. Probably wishing that they could have had a few runs like that earlier in the game now facing this deficit in the fourth. Hard to criticize a run of that magnitude, but they really need those types of runs to go the distance and need bigger plays to try and get back into this one. Stevenson now on first and 10. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked-off linebacker. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. They run once more with Stevenson, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four, now third down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Going right 
inside here, and that's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. I like that call. I'm assuming you're with me. I am. I'm totally with you. And to me, they saw something that they liked there. Because, let's face it, it's going to be a mass of bodies. But it feels like the head coach has said, my best runner. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Ramondre Stevenson. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Sly for the PAT. And the lead drops from 34 to 27. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And New York set to take the field. Well, we've reached well, we've reached the stage where it's a it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is. Do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I'm being selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. <laughs> You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. 176 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Second down and three. And motion left goes a tight end. On second down, it's Abanacanda. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Paul on a give up the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Paul again on second down. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Third down and one. The give now to Abanacanda, and he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. 
everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's a give to Hall. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you'll need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, and what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest.